All right, how to make a sink in the faucet. So I'll get my cube right here, scale this up. Um, and check this out. All we really need to do is get our knife tool, kind of select where we want the sink to be. So this is where I want it to be right here. Select this, control E, and push it down. Now, if it has like a lip of some sort, then what I can do is I can take this and I could just eyeball it if I'm you know, real careful. All right. So do this right here. This right here. Q to quit. It's like this face, this face, this face, this face, this face, this face, this face. Do a control E. Pull this up. Nice. I'm sure you already know what I'm going to do. Go to edge, select it all, shift right click, bevel edge. Let's give it about two. Let's give it three because I'm feeling bold. It's a Monday. All right, so I'm going to right click, object mode. I'm done, all right? Now we just need to make a faucet. So to make this faucet, Oh, and always, you know, if this thing is too close, let me press four. We just need to get these vertexes or we can go to uh, this mode over here, press four, and we can just select them. And then uh, W, and make it a little bit wider. And then if we wanted to bring that row in, we could do that as well. All right, so let's make ourselves a um, faucet. There's a, two ways we can do this, right? So I'll do it one way with this ring right here. And that ring, what am I saying? Uh, Taurus. So I'll take this Taurus. And what I'll do is I'll go over here to these attributes. And if I go to the radius, I can scale this out a bit. And all I gotta do is think about it like, how the curve is on my sink. So if it's about like that, then it'd be cool. I can give it some more um, subdivisions. Let's give it like 30 just because. And I think that's good. And go to faces now. And what I'll do is I'll cut it off at about the halfway point, like here. And I'll take this, I'll press E to rotate, put on J. 90 degree increment. Now what I'll do is I'll go right here to this. And right now it's at an angle sort of, press F. I'll show you what I mean. So this isn't flat. So this is a flat line of course, cause this is a grid completely uh, straight vertical, completely straight horizontal, but this has got a little angle. So if I press R to scale and I scale it like this, now it's like completely fat, flat. So now I'll do control E. And, and if I use thickness here, well, I'm not thickness, offset, it'll kind of mess it up. But if I, if right now I just did control E. Now if I just press W, so I'm quitting the tool, but I still have the selection and I'll just push it down. Let me raise it up just to get out the way. Let me go to my vertexes and I can pull it down. Now, one thing I can do, uh, depending on the reference is I can go get my knife tool, hold down control and I'll click one, two, three times, press R to scale, go to face mode. And um, I'll select all of these right here. I'll that's not right, grab these two. If I grab, you know, three, I can do it. So I'm just scaling up a little bit. And then I'll grab this one down here and I'll scale up a little bit more. And depending on how big I want it, just go like this. I'll make it fatter. And we have that. 
And with this part, I can do the same thing. I can just select this edge, scale this down, do a control E and then W, move it like this. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just go pull it down a little bit more like this. That's cool. Um, grab my knife tool, click once, click twice. Let me click three times. Q to quit. Go to faces. Select these right here. Art of scale. Scaling it pretty big. I don't know how big it should be. Sometimes I'll use a of close reference and I'll look at it and I'll do it that way. But I have this right here. All right, let me just do this a little bit bigger. I can just scale it. Just depends on the style you want. And so to seal it off, I can do two different ways. So I'll just copy this. I can select it and then I can go over here and I can double click and I can do control E and I press R to scale and then scale this in and then press G to repeat the extrude tool and then push this up. And I'll just push it up until it comes outside of the object and I'll press R to scale, scale it in. Then I'm done pretty much, right? I can go over here, double click on this, shift, double click, shift, right click, double edge, two or more. And use this fraction, get like that, and I'm done. Now, if I select this and press three for subdivide, it looks like that. If I want it to um, keep its shape a little bit more, I can go to edge right here, double click, and shift on this one. Go to bevel edge. Now I'll go to segments two. Now the closer these are together, when you subdivide, they're hold together. So if I press three, you'll see. And if I move the fraction, it gets a little softer. So let's just go like that. And there we are. Sync is done. So we could put, you know, it wherever it needs to go. That's perfect. And then the other way we can do it is this. We can, if we have it just like this, we can do shift right click and just do an extrude or control E, go to thickness and then give it some thickness, hold down control for more control. Select it, press three, and no. But the same principle applies. If we go over here and we bevel this edge and, and this edge, no wait. This edge, this edge, this edge, this edge. We would also have to do it over here as well. And then shift right click, bevel edge. Give it two. Two to quit. Press three. Yeah. So that's two ways to make this sync.